So we're still looking at um, creating a membership site with some protected content using the simple membership plugin. Next, I just want us to quickly have a look at customizing those emails that your members will receive by default, because you really don't want them to look like the NAF default ones. So let's go down to our WP membership menu and click on settings. And at the top there, you have a few options um, which you might want to check out, but let's go into email settings for now. So here you can see at the top the from address, the from email that will be used for these emails that get sent out, um, sent out automatically by the system. You may wish to change this. It will pick up the admin email from your WordPress account. Um, you can change it to a different email address if you would prefer to use a different email address. Um, next you will see the email settings. The first one is for the prompt to complete registration. This is the email that your users will receive when they have signed up and paid for one of your membership levels. So they will re receive this email. You might want to change the email subject and you might want to personalise the text here. So um, you can see there are some, some bits that are being popped in there, the first name and last name to personalise it. You might want to just make it all sound a bit nicer and a bit like it comes from you. Leave this reg link in there. That's the registration link so that people can click that and then actually put in their details and be signed up for an account in your website. But everything else you can customise so that it sounds like it's coming from you and sounds a bit nicer. The next email is the email that your users will receive, your members will receive once they've completed that registration. And it will email them, as you can see, with their username and password and the login link so that they can get logged in to the site. So once again, just leave, leaving the little bits in curly brackets because they'll need to know those details. You can change anything else. You can add a little message in here. You can make it more personalised. Um, um, there's the option to have a notification to the admin, that's you by the way, the admin, the WordPress admin, whenever you get um, a new sign up, a new member registering. So you can do that so you can see when you have new members on the site. You can add a different email address if you'd prefer that notification goes to a different email. You can even have it sent to multiple email addresses by putting a comma in between each one. And there you can personalise the message that gets sent out when you get new members. Um, and you can send an email to a member when they are added via the admin dashboard because that's another way to add members. You can actually go here, click on members, and you can actually add members yourself in the back end if you want to add members to a certain membership level without them having to go through the, the registration process or pay. Um, so you can do that. Here is the email for the password reset email. If a member forgets their email and clicks on password reset, this is the email they will receive. So again, leaving the bits in curly brackets, you can change everything else in that email. And account upgrade email. Um, so basically, change anything you want to change in any of those emails and then click save changes. So it's just another way to customise your user experience a little bit and make your whole site a little bit more personalised.